Today, twinjet aircraft are increasingly more commonplace on long-haul routes. However, there were once concerns about the safety of only having two engines on longer distances, especially over the oceans. This factor was a worry that Airbus once played into. Previously, many people felt that four-engined aircraft were safer in the event of engine failure. Boeing Frontiers shares that in a bid to promote the A340 over Boeing 767 and 777 jets, Airbus released an advert in 1999 that was subsequently pulled. The promotion implied that twin jets were not as safe as their counterparts. The European manufacturer created the first twin jet wide body to enter commercial operations with the A300. Moreover, several operators chose to deploy A310 and A330 aircraft on transatlantic services. Despite this, the company decided to focus on the alleged benefits of quad jets on transoceanic flights for its A340 campaign. The firm's advert claimed the following. If you're over the middle of the Pacific, you want to be in the middle of four engines. Three years later, Airbus was at it again with its four engines for long haul campaign. However, former Boeing Commercial Airplanes Vice President of Marketing, Randy Basler, was keen to defend the twin jet. He emphasized that if an engine stops working on any aircraft, often the safest option is to land at the nearest airport. Therefore, Basler noted if a plane has two engines, there are two chances of engine failure. However, if there are four engines, there are four chances of failure. It was noted that 90% of airplane diversions were not related to engines but rather weather, sick passengers, and other issues. Records also showed that the number of turnbacks and diversions for the A340 was double than that of the 777. Twin jets are increasingly more reliable these days and aviation regulators are accepting this fact. In 1985, Transworld Airlines was given a special allowance to operate its twin-engine Boeing 767 across the Atlantic from Boston to Paris. This move saw the first ETOP certification rating provided, which was 120 minutes. Therefore, aircraft and engines meeting these criteria could be in the air for up to two hours from an alternate airport. After three years, this number was increased to three hours. Subsequently, after 12 years, 207-minute ETOPS flights became available on a case-by-case -case basis for Boeing 777 flights across the north of the Pacific Ocean. ETOPS 240 was given to the Airbus A330 in 2009. Currently, ETOPS certifications go as high as ETOPS 370 with the Airbus A350. Between 1985 and until 2002, across 3 million ETOPS flights, no twin jet had been lost during the ETOPS portion of the trip. This is the part of the journey when the plane is farthest from an alternate airport. From 1995 to 2002, the Boeing 777 has only one diversion for in-flight engine shutdown during the ETOPS portion out of over 300,000 services. Moreover, Boeing highlighted that the bigger 777-300ER had 18% lower operating costs per customer than the A340-600 on the same route. Why waste precious resources by adding two engines that aren't needed? In the case of the A340-600, those two extra engines add a 20% higher fuel burn per passenger over the 777-300ER, Basler said. Presently, the twin jet is standing the test of time. Several airlines have been letting go of their quad jet wide bodies in favor of more fuel-efficient two-engine options. It's also cheaper to maintain twin jets as each engine requires separate servicing, documentation, and certification. Many airlines were already planning to phase out their 747 and A380 jets by the time this decade is over. However, the tough conditions of 2020 are catalyzing the retirement of these quad jets. What are your thoughts about twin jet and quad jet aircraft? Do you have any unique experiences flying on the different types over the years? Let us know what you think in the comments section. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.